Hi, I'm Robert Floyd, creative director of the Robert Floyd Photo Gallery, and next to me is Pat Crutchfield, our curator, and she has curated our exhibits, six exhibits, yeah. at the Munson House of Art. And our theme has been social justice. And Pat, how do we integrate social justice for Kestrel Land Trust this year? Very interesting. Kestrel Land Trust is, um, as you know, I'm a member of the board. And I, I was very excited to be invited to join the board because I knew that Kestrel has a um, strong commitment to social justice or diversity, equity, and inclusion. Um, and I think this is very important because, you know, you think of Kestrel not being a place where we're in the woods. What's mm. social justice got to do with that? Well, it has plenty. Um, I think this, um, this first image that uh, we're looking at is a beautiful, tranquil, tranquil uh, spot where the Kestrel headquarters are located. And I think everybody deserves to have a spot like that to go to so that they can kick back, maybe sit in the chair um, in the second image and look out over um, the uh, Sweet Alice Pond. Um, aside from that, Kestrel does a lot of work and is connected with a lot of organizations like the Western Mass Food Bank, um, like the Boys and Girls Club. Uh, like all farmers, and Kestrel does a lot of good work in the community. Um, but first, I, I'd sort of like to talk about the beauty of the landscape. Yeah, tell us about the properties. Yeah. Um, as you can see from this tree stump, which I, I must say when I found it, I thought it was the most peculiar. Mm. <laughs> there we go. It looks very have you, peculiar. Have you, have you seen a tree stump like that either? Um, I've not seen it. It's just very strange. And that was one of the first encounters I had at Sweet Alice's Pond. And of course, the next slide is the famous um, skunk cabbage in its infancy. And then I've never seen a green mushroom either. Well, there's quite a lot of interesting aspects to the properties Kestrel has facilitated and mm -hmm. saving mm -hmm. as conservation areas, not simply their trails or the Correct. properties themselves. Correct. It's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. And on that property, Kestrel offers programs. For instance, um, the plain air folks mm -hmm. from Amherst were out in the cold. Ooh. Yeah. Having a marvelous time. Painting in fresh air. That's all they yeah, were doing. And they look like <laughs> they are. A, that's right. And I was, as I was saying earlier, uh, Kestrel is involved with a lot of communities. Tell us uh, about the farming aspect. Yeah, of the it. farming aspect is is, is really interesting. Um, there's a lot. There's a, an interconnection between um, Kestrel and uh, the Western Mass Food Bank. There are cooperative farms. Uh, there are neighborhood farms in the rolling hills of of, of uh, uh, the Amherst area. And then there are folks who live in urban areas and who are newly arrived here and who are used to growing their own food. Uh -huh. And so you have all farmers and uh, there's a plot of land in West Springfield on a bus line. When uh -huh. I think about Kestrel and how it organizes things, I, am, I applaud its uh, very strong organizational development. Uh, they figure out things when they put things together. So how are these people who don't have cars and who, you know, we're, we're, we've got, they're on our um, uh, voting questions for this year. You know, are, are right. we going to allow them to have farms? Are we going to allow them to have cars? Never mind, there's a bus route. And parallel somewhat to a former project we had together about the community gardens. Community gardening, right. So there's not only community gardening in the heart of Springfield, but this is Dewey Street in West Springfield. And then there's the work that they do on um, the marvelous thing about the food uh, bank farm is that it has trails. And so you can hike, uh, you can do a little bit of hoeing if you've got a, if you've got a plot there. Um, and I, I just think it's a marvelous way to support the community and foster cooperation, collaboration, involvement, uh, involvement yeah. or, or as Kestrel puts it, they conserve, care, connect. That's well put. Yeah, it's, it's um, and as a photographer, 
I, my photography is about connecting. It's about working with Robert Floyd. Hey. Yay. And, and deciding that there's a social justice aspect to everything. Who's involved? Are we supporting those folks who are involved? I love this photograph of, um, this, I don't know where this woman is originally fun, uh, from, but she's got, she's holding the hand of her two-year-old son and she's got her gardening gloves in her yeah. other hand. She's ready to go. Done this before. Done this before. Um, they will have gardens in West Springfield on Dewey Street for next spring, which is a wonderful, wonderful. thing. Yeah. And that brings the community that isn't connected so far together in observing what is going on there out of curiosity and uh, perhaps more involvement. Yeah, and, and the thing that, again, mm -hmm. I, I'm, as, an, as an OD, organizational development person, Kestrel has a marvelous way of collaborating with uh, uh, entities like Eversource. Mm. So when you look at the um, uh, work being done um, in, at, the, at the food bank, they're not only providing an understanding of soil and how to take care of it and all of that stuff, um, they have Saturday morning workshops. Isn't that great? Wow. I'm not getting up for it, but. <laughs> yeah, speaking of getting up for it, what happens in the winter? In the winter, things freeze. And in places like uh, the Conte, uh, Fort, the Fort River Trail, there you go, I always get that backwards. Ice is such a marvelous, marvelous piece of the art. I look at the way the water has ice channels all through that and, mm. uh, and the sun and the vegetation coming up through the ice anyway. So, you know, we're not dead yet. <laughs> We're still and, moving. And you're safe walking on it? Well, yes, you have two walking sticks and you have those cr clampons, clampons on your shoes. Absolutely. Great. Well, the, the great thing about Conte um, Fort River is that it is uh, boardwalked. I just created another verb or. Uh, boardwalked. There we go. Yeah, boardwalked. So it's pretty easy if you've got good things on your shoes to keep you from slipping to hike there in the winter. Um, and I like these two side-by-side -side photos here. This is a winter shot. This is the same oh, shot that's, in that's the brilliant. spring. That's brilliant. I was so happy to be able to find it. Yeah. It was like, oh, I can do I this. You. I remember you. I do. And when I got home and confirmed it, that was a wonderful thing. Oh, good. Yeah. And the last slide for Conte Fort River is its marvelous pollinator field. Uh, this, I believe, was, was spring and the brightness of the red and mm. all of the, the opportunities for pollinators to-, to Pre-autumn. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> and speaking of autumn, ah. there we are right there. A marvelous, a marvelous goodbye. <laughs> yes. Of brightness of yellow and oranges from the- uh, Greenberg? Conte Fort River. Conte, that's Conte. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's Conte. Another place that I really enjoy because um, it looks lived in, is the Greenberg uh, Family Conservation Area. And when I say lived in, I'm looking at this, what do you call that? That's a, well, you, you're stacking stones. Oh, a cairn. There you go. Yeah. That's like the biggest cairn I've ever seen. Yeah, and that's in West Hampton. That's in West Hampton, right. And then they have a, 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 a gathering circle. This is great. Talk about community. That's exactly that's right. That's, that, that is wow. a wonderful thing. And yet you're standing out there in the middle of the forest and you're thinking, that brings families together, that connects, that stops people from um, forced march hikes. And, yeah, right, uh, right. And yeah. plus, there are presentations there, there are family yeah. events yeah. there. In fact, this last uh, image from, uh, well, it's not the, uh, from uh, Greenberg is a, another Karn with, someone left a bracelet. <laughs> oh, whatever you have. Yeah, that's right, you just leave it. That's, or that's, lost and found. That's or, right. And then, of course, Greenberg is known for its mountain laurel. Mm. And I would say that um, this year was a pretty um, slow, um, uneventful Lastly. year yeah. for mountain laurel. My, my driveway, too, is full of them, and it, they weren't this year. They were not at all. I like hiking, walking. Um, and one of the things that I like about Greenberg is this patch of Dancing trees. Dancing trees. Dancing trees. And I think that Greenberg just gave me so much to, to discover. 
you know, uh, I think this is beech wood, but I'm not sure. These are beech leaves. And then there's this really weird tree that looks like it's got a fantastic story to tell. It's a beaten up yep. tree and still it stands. If we only knew. If we only knew, we could probably write a book. I wonder who lives in the big hole. Ah. <laughs> Put up one of those little night cams and find out. Right, right. And again, I look, the, 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 as I walked, and I've been on this project for a year and a half, and as you and I walked, you heard me exclaim, how are you holding on? Yes, you have a wonderful presence at the moment to um, <laughs> approach a tree and hug read it. it, hug it, and uh, <laughs> then almost as an afterthought, uh, photograph oh, it. Oh, I have to take a picture. Yeah, why not? To but, a but your communication is wonderful to mm. experience and observe, and, and I do miss our walks. Yeah, I do too. <laughs> It's great fun. Um, what am, I think if it's I'm, Tuesday, it must be Kestrel property. And Esalon for yes, muffins. Yes, for the muffins. There we go. Yeah, there definitely. we go. I think that what I learned through all of this is the power of connection. Um, I see trees somehow connected to rocks and still growing. <laughs> I see um, as this tree um, is just flowing. And it is also um, nurturing moss and God knows what else, lots of bugs. Survival and yeah. setting an example for other trees that it's connected with in the root system. Yeah, yeah. And, yep. and, and in fact, I was, I was walking with uh, Joey, one of my dogs, in uh, Greenberg, uh, and I tripped because, you know, I, all of these tree roots are glorious as they're trying to connect, but if you're not looking, you're gonna fall. And I tripped and I thought, oh, well, I'm down here trying to figure out- Where am I? Where am I? Let me just take the shot, click. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Save yourself, here we are. Be in the moment. Yeah. So aside from Greenberg, there is the Waitley Center Woods. Um, Which is mysterious and magical and and pretty buggy. Pretty buggy. Pretty buggy. And, and that's where you demonstrated a technique that I saw <laughs> you use often, was to take your walking sticks and just poke a fern <laughs> out of the way. And there's this magical orange red blossom, yeah. which yeah. we wouldn't have seen otherwise. Right. And staying on the trail, but reaching out. And um, yeah, I never once stepped off the trail. No? Never once, but I, I got bored, you know? I got bored with the notion of all of this landscape. It's like, okay, that's great. I love we took a lot in. full blown landscapes, <laughs> but where's the detail? Yeah. And I realized that I was bored and I realized I needed to change what I was photographing. So I'm looking now at a swamp in the middle of the Waitley Center Woods. And you see right here at the bottom, a, um, it's not uh, yeah, I started to say mountain laurel, but not. <laughs> mountain laurel smells a lot nicer. <laughs> and, and this little, little, little skunk cabbage was there, and I thought, wow, it's the only one there. Yeah. So, of course, I had to take a close up. Special. Of course, very special. And I, I, I love what happened when I began to play with the dark background, um, because for some reason it turned magenta. I have no idea like why. background. That's just, right. Just that's right. Just, that's right. But I liked it. And people loved it. It was one of your 74 on exhibit <laughs> uh, at the Munson uh, House of Art, thanks to the Munson Art Council. Yep. And that was one of the favorites and oohs and ahs. Yeah, and the majest majestic skunk cabbage. Yeah. I've never seen one looking so good. Oh, and felt it too. Yeah, right, right, yeah. In fact, that's gonna, that's gonna go up on a wall someplace. Great intimate landscape. Yep, well, that's the difference. The, the difference between the full scope, which is wonderful, yeah. and then the focus on a very, very um, quiet piece, if you Isolating, will. Yep. seeing, um, feeling. Yes, yes, and, and the magenta just makes it. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> and I suspect, going back to the swampy one, I suspect that in, a, in several years, this will be full of skunk yep. cabbage. All generated by this perky by this, little one this here. perky little one. Uh, and then I, I began to surprise myself, there we go, um, and began looking for intimate landscapes. Ferns. Ferns. You know, this little fern 
arching backwards, leaning against that tree. It's just that gentle. Yeah, just I'm I mean, resting. I'm yeah, resting. Yeah. And all the color, because the tree is a host yeah. to a number of things. So you get the color of the number of things. And then, you know, the, the, the next image, which is a tree, a lot of green, mossy stuff, poison, uh, poison ivy, which is the vine. Which is that big vine. Right. And, and then you have Virginia creeper. Which and I turns got, crimson red in the yeah, fall. Yeah, right. Exactly. This is a spring shot. In fact, I think that's, that was the hike that, you, that we were part of, you were part of, and, and, and Carol, as we went, uh, as we tried to find our way through the, the glacier <laughs> remains. Yeah. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, the amazing boulders left right. from the glaciers and uh, breathtaking, actually, to experience it. It is, and the next shot it just demonstrates that. Lots and lots of green yeah. all over that glacial yeah. wall. You know, nobody could build a wall like that. The glacier left it. That sure Ooh, did. Pretty wild. Pretty and wild. different feelings from different angles, especially when we backtracked or went back on a certain path. It was like a, it was a whole different path. Right. And I, this, this image I really like because it just takes in, I think, the entire Waitley Woods yeah. <laughs> in its own it, way. It, yeah, it's a good sense of place. Yeah, lots of rock, lots of moss, and this, this sort of tr um, stream of leaves. Mm. It's like... I like that. Yeah, I do, too. Yeah. yeah, I like it. It took, me, green. it took me three visits to get that shot um, because Great the angle. sky, yeah, yeah the sky didn't work. Crop. Didn't work. The sky didn't work. The sky didn't yeah. work. And finally, the sky worked, and it I was also work, there. Come back. That's right. Yeah, sometimes, Return. you know, you miss it entirely. Oh, yeah. Connection. Trees and greenery and moss mm. and all of the stuff that grows in. And all of the root systems that come out. The root systems were amazing. Oh. You just isolated that image and uh, uh, only included what was important to tell yep. the story. Yes. And it tells its own story and in, I would, in a big forest. Yes. And I would be a very happy tree if that moss ah. were, were on my roots. Yeah. Feels good. <laughs> it does. And we have, of course... Stumps in Waitley Woods as well, and this one That's is an amazing stump. I have There's never no seen a stump, stump like it. it. Not, like Not even has. the first one. <laughs> wow. I yeah. like I, I love the the color. The, and it was the, just there. Look yeah, at me. Yeah. And I, like, what are you doing here? You can see the extension of roots yeah. that never will be, and I have no idea w about the mustard color in the wood. Incredible it's color. Just wow, wonderful. Yeah, wild. And the red the red things I know are. Berry, so I call it a berry dining table. <laughs> oh, okay, I like that. <laughs> and I left it there for other people to yeah. enjoy it. But and for other other birds and, and, and the chipmunks and all that. Yeah, yeah. Again, ferns in Waitley Woods and forest. This and they were delicate. I mean, you had a great forest and water, and, and yet these ferns and, and plants, and they were, they were delicate, and they were surviving in the shade, and it was really an incredible uh, experience. Yeah. I, I, I haven't been in the woods in a long time during the spring pop-up of all the ferns. Yeah, they were uh, popping up. They were. They were. And, and lastly, in Waitley Woods is, is a tree that... I guess I just don't understand why it's still there. It it uh, was camel like. It's beautiful. In it 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 was, and so. But I wanted to funky. give. Funky. Yeah, there you go. I wanted funky to, town, <laughs> funky town in Waitley Center Woods. There you go. I wanted to <laughs> just show its environment because it's it's isolated there. Yeah, but alone. Let didn't then have a brother or sister to uh, support it. And what what do you call those things on the? Is that a? No, no uh, um, yeah, I used to know. I uh, meet Boy Scout, right? Uh, yeah, we used to be. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. We went to Wentworth Farms on a slightly misty day. It was a wonderful day. I loved it because I didn't have to worry about my camera. Yeah. And yet there was enough sogginess. And um, I, I saw the, the, the tree branches covering the path. And I saw the interesting trees on the right, which are almost a tunnel in themselves. <laughs> and so I shot it. And that... It's a great sense of place. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Um, and I enjoyed the walk. I enjoyed the... Uh, we even had a hawk checking us out. We did. We did. Watching us from the trees. From, yeah, and, and 
It was a wonderful, it was. damp day. Yeah. Not a day you'd want to get out of the out of out of the house to get in the car, but once we were out yeah, there, yeah, we were we were we were, we're swimming, and because it was an overcast and cloudy day, there's lots of room for reflection, mm. and so we have this this pond here and all of these fallen trees, and it's early spring, so we have a lot of red buds. Uh, I know you can't see them, but trust me, they're there. <laughs> <laughs> they're right here. <laughs> And I also found, we also found Indian pipe. Yeah, and that's rare. Yes. Very ghost-like plants. These are oh. like, just really a treat. Oh, it was, it was like, this year was hard for lady slippers. I found one. I have a driveway that's usually full of them. I found one, not even in the driveway. I, haven't, I hadn't found any Indian pipe at all. I found that uh, at Wentworth Farms. And... That was just a treat, and That's I was glad worth to be able. Visit. That, yeah, you're right. Again, interconnections. Uh, I am sure that these uh, Indian pipes are connected in ways that are different from how human beings do, but they're they're there and they're secure to the earth. And mm. I began to look at tree bark throughout all of our hikes, and I was always interested in finding trees that did double duty. Okay, yes. You know, Moss and mushrooms, that you know. Was... <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and because it was a damp day, I was able to find this image of a what was left of a dandelion. And, and you I... didn't have harsh shadows. You no, know, it, was it was beautiful. Overhead beautiful. light filled everything in. Yep. All I had to do was to hold something back on the right side with <laughs> oh, my the trekking stick. stick. <laughs> That's yep. right. I never leave home without this, <laughs> without them. And the last shot is the one that. Oh. I just turned over my shoulder and saw and took. Heartfelt. That, it's how I feel about, about the work that Kestrel's doing. It's how I feel about the work that you and I do around social justice issues and photography. Um, it's, it's a sign or sign of, and there, uh, of, of, yeah, that's of right. what we're doing. It, it, it <laughs> is. And I thought, someone left me a heart. Yeah. So it, uh, well, you we, know, found, we could, you found it. That's right. So we can keep on doing this work because it's important. Um, I think that agencies, organizations like the Kestrel Land Trust, connecting with communities and doing the work that needs to be done so that all of us can enjoy the land. Um, I am grateful that Kestrel has uh, arrangements going, connections with uh, larger towns like East Hampton um, and um, Holyoke. And I'm thinking about all the vacant lots in Springfield <laughs> that could be pretty doggone good farmland as, yeah. as the yeah. uh, gardening and the community folks. And you hit on a key, the land needs to be open for all of us, Absolutely. all inclusive. Absolutely. So the heart keeps beating at the bottom of the tree. Mm -hmm.